Good morning, or good afternoon. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for coming. My name is Stephen Salel, and I am the Robert F. Lange Foundation Assistant Curator of Japanese Art here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. For the past several years, Sean Eichmann, the Curator of Asian Art, and I have been co-curating a series of exhibitions that examine the sexual culture of Japan as it is expressed in Japanese art. We began in 2012 with Arts of the Bedchamber, Japanese Shunga, which explored the origins of Japanese erotic art in the 17th and 18th centuries, and continued last year with tongue-in-cheek erotic art in 19th century Japan. The current exhibition, Modern Love, 20th Century Japanese Erotic Art, is the conclusion of that series. And one of the highlights of that show is the work of Sakurazawa Erika, a contemporary Japanese manga artist. Today, I have the extreme honor and privilege of speaking with Ms. Sakurazawa about her career. Manga, which I would describe as graphic novels or other forms of narrative-based graphic art produced primarily in Japan, are amazingly diverse in their content and include material for just about every imaginable demographic. For example, the stories of Sakurazawa Erika are categorized as Jose manga. Stories of personal relationships and other aspects of modern urban life faced by adult women. It is a relatively new genre of manga, originating in the early 1970s, when female artists began to break through the glass ceiling of the manga industry and began publishing works that appealed to adult women. Some American critics have described Ms. Sakurazawa's work as quote, the Japanese version of Sex and the City. I'm fine with that label, except for the fact that it equates Ms. Sakurazawa's refined artwork, which she began publishing as early as 1985, and which deals with quietly subversive topics based upon the personal experiences of those in her immediate community with a mainstream American television show that did not exist until 1998. Let me offer to you now what I believe to be a more accurate description of Ms. Sakurazawa's artwork. In my discussion, I will draw examples from several of her works including Kesalan Hathoran, Making Happy, Love Addiction, and Love Vibes. The, word, the world depicted in Ms. Sakurazawa's manga is a glamorous one. Since she was born in Tokyo, Japan, in 1963 and has lived there ever since, it isn't surprising that her stories are mostly set in her home country, with picturesque Japanese scenes such as a rural hot spring, a suburban neighborhood in Tokyo, and the Scramble intersection in Shibuya District. But since many of her characters are affluent travelers, 
we are treated to fanciful views of other parts of the world as well, such as New York City and Paris. And within those cities, Ms. Sakurazawa focuses upon locales that readers would find enticing, particularly nightclubs, discotheques, and exclusive bars. Other important locations include fashion shows and fashion photography studios. Because her characters are deeply involved with haute couture, designer handbags, hand tailored dresses, other seasonal attire, and cosmetics. Their exquisite fashion sense is not necessarily limited, though, to high priced items. They can rock a pair of cargo pants or a casual sweatshirt just as easily. What gives the scenes in Ms. Sakurazawa's stories the strongest sense of elegance is the way in which she composes them. She'll begin with a long shot to draw us into the environment. She may then suddenly present us with an intimate still life in order to place us beside the characters and see what surrounds them. Extended action or dialogue will often be conveyed in a multi-panel page, such as this one. But in moments of delight or surprise, the artist will frame her characters in beautifully balanced full-page tableaus. A particularly distinctive characteristic of Ms. Sakurazawa's drawing style is her use of isometric perspective, known more commonly as a bird's eye point of view. We seem to be floating in the sky above her characters as if we were angels. And this is quite fitting, I believe, because despite their financial stability and material comforts, Many of those characters are in dire need of divine intervention. They are troubled souls. Ms. Sakurazawa's characters struggle, often unsuccessfully, to communicate with one another. Many angst-ridden moments in her stories involve a telephone call, in which long for Forsaken lovers attempt to reconnect. Relationships end with a sudden and tragic breakup. And callers find themselves inadvertently eavesdropping on extremely private and rather awkward moments. In a similar way, sex itself functions in her stories as a means for characters to connect. But as they struggle with their sexual desires, the path to happiness in those relationships is far from clear. In the exhibition Modern Love here at the museum, we present one of Ms. Sakurazawa's masterpieces, Love Vibes, in its entirety. If you haven't yet visited the show and read it, I highly recommend doing so, but for now, let me offer a brief summary of the story. Love Vibes deals with the lives of three women living in Tokyo. Mako, a woman whose relationship with her boyfriend is quickly deteriorating. Mika, a self-identified lesbian who strikes up a conversation with Mako in a CD shop 
and asks her out on a date and begins a romantic relationship with her. And Shouko, who meets Mako at a party one evening and quickly seduces her. The story, therefore, involves two love triangles. One in which Mika, coming to terms with her desire for Mako, sees her love interest being stolen by Shoko. And I'm sorry, the names here become rather confusing, but let me repeat that again. The woman at the bottom here, uh, Mika, has fallen in love with Mako, but Mako's new girlfriend, Shoko, has interfered with the relationship. Meanwhile, Mika is watching in frustration as Mako and her boyfriend attempt to salvage their relationship. As these tensions reach a boiling point and some of the characters struggle with feelings of homophobia, they react with violence, and eventually with reconciliation. In 2009, 13 years after the initial publication of Love Vibes, a film adaptation entitled Kakera, A Piece of Our Life, was released in Japan. Soon thereafter, Third World, Third Window Films released it in Europe. It was officially screened at film festivals in England, France, Sweden, and Japan, where it received enthusiastic reviews. So, let us meet the mind behind these intriguing stories of glamour, romance, and the daily lives of contemporary Japanese women. Please join me in welcoming our very special guest, Ms. Sakurazawa Erika. So, Erika, um, you, you, uh, you just arrived in, in Hawaii yesterday, and I know that the jet lag must be um, still quite exhausting. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Yes, I'm okay. Um, Thank you very much for having me. Um, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your experiences um, as a, a young girl when you first started to read manga. Were there a particular manga that you enjoyed reading and were inspired by? あの、少女漫画誌でリボンという、あの、漫画があるんですけど、私はそのリボンの方をずっと子供の頃から読んでいて、そこに載っている一条ゆかり先生が一番影響を受けた人です。um, and uh, um, in Japan, there are two popular um, monthly comic books. It's a magazine. Um, one is called, oh, actually, there are two tops, and then one is called uh, Ribbon, Ribbon, and one, the other one is Nakayoshi, which means friends. And um, I really like the, the one that's called Ribbon, Ribbon and um, that's the one I've been reading since, since childhood. And then there are uh, the compilation of um, um, different um, the comics or mangas inside. And then my favorite artist was Yukari Ichijo. Were, um, were those comics um, considered a, a girls manga, shoujo manga, um, or were they more like um, the Jose manga um, um, comics for adult women? That you produce yourself nowadays. So, あの、好きだった漫画、ま、日本のものですけども、ま、あの、少女漫画だったんでしょうか。それともま、あの、あの、女性漫画っていうのが創刊されたのが私は20歳ぐらい18とか 
二十歳近くなのでそれまではずっとその少女漫画があの割と低学年向きのものと中高年向きのものがあってその辺を読んでたんですね。Well, the first Josei manga、uh, gears toward,、um, towards the adult women、uh, were published when I was maybe、uh, 18 to 20 years old, and until then, the majority were the,、um, the, was the、uh, um, shoujo manga, which is for younger、uh, generation. And then there are、uh, maybe two kinds, maybe、um, for、um, uh, younger uh, children, or maybe a little bit older、uh, children or teenagers. And then that's the one I was reading.、Oh, that's a, a, exciting to hear that you were, in, in many ways, sort of a, a pioneer of the、um, genre of,、uh, of Jose manga. Anyways, as you probably know, we have a really thriving、um, audience for manga here in Hawaii and a large community of, of manga artists as well.、Um, in、um, March of every year,、um, we have uh, a uh, An event called the Kawaii Kon,、um, a、uh, festival for animation and manga and、uh, Japanese、uh, culture in general. And、um, a lot of the artists who exhibit their work at that convention,、um, I'm sure, would be interested in hearing your stories about、uh, the beginning of your career. How you first、uh, started working as a manga artist. まあ、あのこ,ちこちらのハワイにもですね、漫画に興味のある方、それから日本文化に興味のある方、たくさんいらっしゃって、で、あの漫画に非常にも興味を持ったり、それから目指していらっしゃる方も多いと思うんですね。で、ハワイでは毎年3月になりますと、カワイポンという、まあ、あの、えー大きなコンベンションがありまして、そちらの方に展示をしたりだとか、そういう大きなイベントがあるんですね、漫画家の方たちのイベントがあるんですけれども、あのその中で出展される方もいらっしゃる、この中にいらっしゃるかもしれません。で、あのせまあ、も,もし先生の方からあのその方たちに向けてですね、えーまあ、あの自分ご自分の,その漫画家としてのスタートといいますか、えー、そのなんキャリアの,あの,、まあ、あの働き始めた頃とかですね、それ売れ始めた頃とか、そういう話を聞けたらと思うんですね。はいあのー、大体デビューしたのが19歳の時で、えー、と男性向けの、えー、エロ劇画誌みたいなものに書いてたんですねでそこからちょっとずつ仕事が広がって、あのー、漫画以外にそのイラストの仕事をすごくたくさんしていて。うんそれもまあ男性向けの本が多かったんですけど男性向けの,あのプレイボーイとかそういう読み物雑誌にたくさんイラストを描いていてで25歳ぐらいの時にもうそういうあのイラストを,をたくさん描き続けることにちょっと疲れて漫画に絞っていこうと思いあのちゃんとしたあの長編をきちんと書くようになっていって今に至るですかね。Um, well, I、uh, my debut was、um, um, at the age of、um, 19, and at the time I started with、uh, writing in a、uh, magazine geared towards、um, uh, adult men,、uh, which is called e r o g i k i g a which is an erotic, erotic、um, uh, more like a, a little bit、uh, radical type of、uh, manga, and Then、uh, I started to expand my territory just you know, little by little. And then at the time, I had a lot of um, uh, work um, in the illustration industry,、uh, which is more like I'm writing a draw, drawing or painting a one、um, picture,、uh, for in the, uh, which is inserted in the storybook or story、um, or in the book. And、uh, I was, um, I was um,、uh, submitting all these、um, works to. Um, publications like、uh, Playboy or other readers、um, geared towards、uh, adult men. Then、uh, I started to get tired of doing this type of work at the age of、um, 25 or so. And then I just wanted to 
um, shift my work towards manga a little bit more, a little bit more on the longer story, and, or maybe complete story, and then um, that's uh, how I started with mangaka. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, um, I've heard of um, other um, manga artists who began their career in a similar way, uh, particularly uh, those manga artists um, like in uh, the Modern Love Exhibition who deal with erotica and uh, who, who started their careers working for um, men's magazines like Playboy. Um, I um, can imagine that um, it um, might have been uh, a, um, you, you might have had mixed feelings um, about uh, working for such a magazine. Um, is that the case? あの、他の漫画家の方でですね、今回のそのモダンラブの展示の中に いや、特にはその男の人たちはまあ、なんかにこやかに見てくれてるようなところがあったんじゃないかと思いますけど、うん、そうですね。だからそのいろいろその小人とか差別とかそういうことはあまり感じたことはないですね。Well, I was um, always making the uh, type of art that I wanted to make, and well, the um, the place that I was um, expressing myself, what happened to be the uh, men's magazine. And then I did not change my style to get, to get more attention from men or try to get more readership from the men. And it's, it was more like, a, um, I was not a main um, artist either. And it was most more like a, the, it was male dominant, male oriented uh, type of magazine, but sometimes, you know, here and there uh, we, they see um, women artists. And then uh, they was well accepted, and then they're, I think they um, accepted me with a smile, and so I didn't know, I didn't really think that I was discriminated or it was very hard to get in or anything. I'm glad to hear that. But, sorry, keep that <laughs> Um, I, um, I know we have some images of um, uh, another series of artwork that you were producing at about that time, but it isn't really connected with um, er erotic art. It was a, a, a different um, work of manga that you were doing that was focusing more on animals, I believe. Um, そうですね。男性誌で描いていたそのエロっていうのも um, in in my understanding or uh, how I feel is basically they're the same. 
uh, there's no difference between the art, uh, the art, erotic um, art or the, the animals type of uh, manga. Um, the, the one that was shown um, was show, showing um, is the, uh, the uh, that was um, um, based on the cats that I had in my house and then this is more like a journal or the diary uh, of my life with living in with the cats and um, same thing um, as the the erotic ones are almost like um, I I was expressing how I felt in my daily life and um, so it's no different at all and well at the time you know in my beginning of my career I was um, um, uh, doing my art with the, uh, the publication with the, the cats. But now I got married and I have kids. So um, I have a, uh, another uh, topic that I can talk about. And um, uh, my life with my children are uh, descriptive, what de 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 depicted well, into my art. I look forward to seeing some of your um, upcoming manga where you incorporate um, uh, elements of your family life in that, I'm sure that would be equally interesting. So this is the Let me uh, focus a bit on the artwork that we have on display in the Modern Love Exhibition, Love Vibes. Um, this is um, uh, a, a really interesting work that not only um, ha have we looked at the, uh, the manga itself, but uh, as I mentioned in my introduction, um, it's been produced as, as a film recently. Um, the next one. Um, I believe that we have some images here of um, uh, scenes from Love Vibes. Could you tell us a little bit uh, about uh, this story and how it developed um, from from the idea stage to the final product?で、あの、非常に漫画としても面白いんですけれども、それだけではなくてですね、例えば映画化されたりとか、いろいろ、いろいろあるんですよ、うん、なんかこれも のがいまいちレズビアンの世界を描いたような漫画っていうのは当時なかったので、そういうものを描いてみようかなっていう自分の中でちょっとした挑戦だったんですけど、やっぱりちょっと難しくて、あの、なんだろう、自分的にはちょっともう少しな
Myself, I, I think I can relate better to uh, gay people, but um, I found myself that I can't really uh, relate or have a better understanding in uh, uh, lesbian people. But I did have some friends who are lesbians, and um, just hanging out with them, I just realized that we're not different at all. It's just we're the same people and they're much different at all. You know, who is gay or who is lesbian doesn't make a difference. And um, uh, at that time, uh, there's no uh, manga or work um, uh, specialized or uh, featured lesbian people. So I thought of doing it myself. And it was a challenge. I, I took it as a challenge, me. But um, it was very difficult to do this. And then I thought that, oh, maybe I could have, I could have done a little bit better job. But uh, that's how it is. Tada, no. これをあのこの作品が載った雑誌が普通の、えー、と女性誌と少女誌の中間ぐらいの少女漫画寄りの女性誌だったのであの性的な表現っていうのはすごい気を使ってやりすぎないようにあのでも必要なことだしその辺に悩んだのと。でもこれをその実際に私の友人が読んですごく喜んでくれたんですねビ,ビアンのお友達がだからまあよかったなと思って。And、um, the magazine、um, that published this work was、um, uh, something in between, you know, the, the in between of a j o s e z a s h i for adult women and s h o j o manga for younger、um, the,、um, The readers, and it was a little bit heavy on manga side. So,、uh, what I was very careful was that, it, that、um, I did not to be too, I would try not to be too graphic about the,、um, the express, sex, sexual expression when I try to,、um, to, um, to do my work. But it was necessary, so I put、um, the, the, those、um, expressions in the necessary parts. And yes, I, I、uh, struggled a lot. I thought of、um, how to do it over and over again. But、um, a good thing is that、um, my friends who read this really loved it. And they were really touched. So that's something I took as a reward. I, I imagine that your friends must have really in, enjoyed your work.、Uh, because when, when I was first reading,、uh, when I was first reading it, I, I, I got the impression that these characters that you drew and, and、uh, wrote about were real people. You weren't making caricatures. You were、uh, presenting them in a way that was realistic and also very sympathetic.、Um, and it, it's, I, I think,、uh, something that really distinguishes your artwork. あのそうですね、きっとあの友達も先生の作品を読んでとっても、まあ、喜んでとおっしゃってましたけど本当にそうだったんじゃないかなと思います私も先生の作品を最初に読んだ時にあの書いてる普通人間出てくる登場人物っていうのが普通の人だったってすごく思ったんですね、うん、それカリカチャーとかだとこをことさらにこう変えて誇張したりとか変えてなくて普通の現実的に見て。の人だったしそれからその見る目も温かくてあの心を寄せてる感じっていうのすごく分かったのでそうだったのかなと思います。Um, I imagine that it must have changed quite a bit. We actually have a film clip. どうせなら男とか女とかより自分にとって気持ちいい人と触れ合いたいじゃないですか本当に本当に本当に女の子が好きなの女好きって言うんじゃないよ私ははるちゃんだから好きなんだよ
そういうスカートとか着てみたいな絶対ずっと出るかわいないかわいくないよ<笑>はるちゃんは何したいの愛されたいかなはるの新しいのって女なの別とセックスしてたわけよ俺ちんたまついてる偉いのかはるちゃんを愛してます私はそうやって堂々とまだ言えないお月様ってまんまるになるけど一日だけだよあとはずっと欠けてるんだよ欠けてる月も綺麗だよ全くそのあのもの桃子監督のやりたいことがその私の漫画からインスパイアされたっていうので一応原作として名前が入ってるんですけどほぼね違うものなんですね<笑>タイトルも違うしでもあのそうですねすごくエキセントリックな作品でこれ自体は。全く私のものとは違いますけどあの、うん、そんなに言ってもらわなくてもよかったなって<笑>いやいやあのあの原作だっていうと原作料も払わな,払わなきゃというか私がねもらわないといけないしいいですよっていうぐらいあの安野,安野桃子さんの作品ですよね。はい、well, um, the title is different in the first place. And、um, yes, the, the director of this movie、um, said that, that she was inspired by, with, by my、uh, work. And then she tried to portray what she wanted to do. And、um, I was mentioned, you know,、uh, my name was mentioned in the mo movie saying that I was the original work. But it, you know, it's, it's actually completely different. And that even the title is different. And、um, as the movie itself, I think it's an, a very eccentric. Movie,、um, which is different from my type of、uh, style, though. But、um, I was th just thinking maybe they shouldn't have mentioned my name at all because、um, you know, they have to、uh, pay you know, some uh, uh, money to me as the, because I was, they mentioned that the original, original and everything. But、um, it's her work, it's the director's work, and it's different from mine. <laughs> After you know, looking at、um, images of your manga and, and seeing the emphasis on fashion and style and glamour,、um, I, I would agree it, um, you, your work has a different、uh, flavor to it than、um, the Mondo's film. そうですね、あの先生のこれを見てから先生の作品をもう一度見直してみると先生の方の例えばすごくファッショナブルさだとかそれからすごくそういう,こう洗練されたスタイルだとかこうグラマラスな感じっていうのを,をやっぱり強く受けるのでそう,そうですねあれはやっぱりあの監督の作品ですね。ただそのいくつかのセリフがどうしてもこのセリフじゃないとダメっていうのがあったらしくてあの安藤さん自体がそれで。あのどうしても原作っていうことで名前を使わせてほしいって言われたんですよね。But the,、um, the director was persistent about the usage of certain lines, the several lines that she really wanted to use word for word.、Uh, therefore, she had to mention my name as an original work. So she must have been a fan of your work. Okay, the sense of fun was the show. Speaking of fans,、um, I know we're, we're getting close to the end of our. Um, interview here, and I, I'm sure that there are folks in the audience here who would be interested in asking you some questions. Would you mind if we were to solicit some questions from the audience?
Does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask Ms. Sakurazawa? So please feel free to raise your hand and let me, if, if I could have you come on over. I'm not sure how far that might go. So I think the ladies and their bodies, the proportions are so beautifully drawn. You know, very appealing. So I was wondering if you studied art, like did you go to art school or study art in college or anything where you mostly self-taught? あの、デッサンを中心にやる学校があって、そちらには1年ぐらいは行きましたけど、あとはもう独学です。There's a school in Japan um, called a Setsu Mode Seminar and then that, that teaches the basic um Desan that's uh, the right uh, the drawing of the basic figure, but um, um I attended maybe for a year, but um other than that I self taught. Anybody else? Please don't be shy. <laughs> I, I noticed that some of the uh, drawings that were shown, it showed a cafe, club, uh, nightclub, this, this cool pictures. So I'm wondering, just like uh, the French artists in the past, where they would frequent and sit outside cafes, did you do you do the same thing, and do you continue to do that to keep up with current trends so that your artwork stays current? ま、トレンド吸収したりとかそういう勉強に対してしたようなんですけど、先生も同じように今でも通ってらっしゃって、そういうところを流行にこう遅れないようにとかそういう勉強されてるんでしょうか。そうですね、あの勉強っていうより
まあ、一つ目の質問は、先生はどちらかというと、ストーリーに重きを置いているタイプですか、それともこうあの漫画、つまり実際にこう書く方が中心になるタイプですか、でもしもそれの落としどころがうまくつかめないとしたんだとしたらです、ねあの、それこそ曲なんかでも曲線とか姿勢とかありますよね、詩が先にできるタイプ、曲が先にできるタイプ、先生はあの絵が先にできるタイプ、それともストーリーが先にできるタイプですか。あのーど,どっちだろうなあ,あのー、なんかお話を考えてそこからあの絵を当てはめていくっていうことの方が多いんですけど、あのー、場所からインスパイアされることがすごく多くて、あのー、ある神社に行った時にそこにある大きなイチョウの木を見てなんか。ここでなんか描きたいなっていうそのその風景から描きたいものが決まる時もよくあってそうするとこの風景を生かすのにあの一番いいのはどういうお話かなっていうことを考えて描いていくっていうのもあります。Well, I think、um, I find myself as the storyteller first, and then. And then、um, um, I draw、uh, pictures which would portray the story. But、um, uh, a lot of times I'm inspired by locations or particular structures or some type of、uh, visual images,、uh, places. For example, if I visit this big、uh, shrine and then I saw this like, enormous ginkgo tree or something, and its leaves and everything, and then I thought, like, oh wow, I'd like to use this in my work. And, What story or what、uh, situation would be the best to,、uh, to really make this into, you know, make a breathe、uh, life into this、uh, picture? And、uh, what type of situation and com- conversation would make it lively? And that's sometimes how I start with. Hawaii is a very interesting place, and it's a very interesting place. It's a very interesting place. Well, in that sense, you know, Hawaii inspires me a lot. There are so many you know, beautiful places that、I'm, I can easily be inspired. So I'm very excited to be here. We are equally excited to have you here. <laughs> And uh, since, since we are um, coming um, up to the end of our hour, perhaps that's a nice note. For us to end on.、Um, again, I wanted to thank all of the people who made、uh, not only tonight but this entire exhibition series possible,、um, including the、uh, Robert F. Lange Foundation,、um, those anonymous donors who've contributed generously, and And to, to all of you、uh, for your interest and your enthusiasm in this project.、Um, but、um, let me、um, right now give a, a special thanks to、um, our guest for, for coming all the way from Tokyo to,、um, to see the show and to talk to us in person about her artwork, Ms. Sakurazawa Erika. Thank you very much. Thank you.